Candidates are expected to have a thorough understanding of the syllabus details outlined in the accompanying figure. Resistance Resistance is defined as the ratio of potential difference to current. We can write the equations as R equals V over I, where R is the resistance in ohms. V is the potential difference in volts. I is the current in amperes. So, ohm is the volt per ampere. The resistance is the value in the material that resists the current to flow through it. So, for a given potential difference, the higher the resistance, the lower the current. The resistor is the component in the circuit that is used to control the current. Two types of resistor as a fixed resistor and a variable resistor. The fixed resistor and its symbol is shown on the diagram. The variable resistor and its symbol is shown on the diagram. This is also the variable resistor that is called rheostat and its symbol is shown on the diagram. The variable resistor is used to vary the current in the circuit. An experiment to determine resistance using a voltmeter and an ammeter. Set up the apparatus as shown on the diagram. Adjust the current in circuit by a variable resistor. Read the current at the ammeter. Read the voltage, or PD, at the voltmeter. Calculate the resistance of a resistor, R, by the equation. R equals V over I. Repeats the experiment and find the average of the resistance, or plots the graph of V against I and find the resistance from the gradient of the graph. Factors that affect the resistance of a metallic conductor. Temperature, as temperature increases, the resistance of a metallic conductor increases. This is because the atoms in a conductor gain the kinetic energy and vibrate more, which reduces the rate of flow of charges. This causes the current to decrease and the resistance to increases. Types of materials. Different materials have different resistance. For example, Silver a best conductor, so it has least resistance. The resistance of a material increases as follows as the diagram below. Length of a conductor wire. The longer a wire conductor, the greater its resistance. This is because electrons have to collide with more ion atoms and decreasing the rate of flow of charges and so there will be more resistance. So, the resistance of a wire is directly proportional to its length. Cross-section area of a wire. The thicker a wire, the smaller its resistance. This is because there is more space for electrons, and so more electrons can flow. So, the resistance of a wire is inversely proportional to cross-sectional area, width, or thickness. Cross-section area is equal to pi, radius squared, or pi, diameter squared, over 4. So, Cross-section area is directly proportional to the square of radius and square of diameter. So, the resistance of a wire is inversely proportional to square of radius and square of diameter. Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the PD, or voltage, across a metallic conductor is proportional to the current passing through it when temperature remains constant. So, we can write that V equals I R. The metallic conductor obeys the Ohm's law, it is called that ohmic conductor. An experiment to explain the current voltage graphs for a resistor of constant resistance. Set up the apparatus as shown on the diagram. Adjust a variable resistor to obtain the of the current. Read the voltage, or PD, at voltmeter and the current at ammeter. Repeats the experiment for 10 times to get the 10 set of values of V and I. Plot the graph of the current against the voltage, as shown on the diagram. The graph is the straight line passing through the origin. This shows that the current is directly proportional to the voltage. The gradient of graph is 1 over the resistance. This shows that the resistance is constant. An experiment to explain the current voltage graphs for a filament lamp. Set up the apparatus as shown on the diagram. Adjust a variable resistor to obtain the of the current. Read the voltage, or PD, 
at voltmeter and the current at ammeter. Repeats the experiment for 10 times to get the 10 set of values of V and I. Reverse the cell as shown on the diagram. Repeat the experiment 10 times to obtain the results. Plot the graph of the current against the voltage, as shown on the diagram. From the graph, the current increases at a proportionally slower rate than the potential difference. This is because the increased current causes the filament in the lamp to heat up. As the filament gets hot, its resistance increases. This opposes the current, causing it to increase at a slower rate. An experiment to explain the current voltage graphs for a diode. Set up the apparatus as shown on the diagram. Adjust a variable resistor to obtain the of the current. Read the voltage, or PD, at voltmeter and the current at ammeter. Repeats the experiment for 10 times to get the 10 set of values of V and I. Reverse the cell as shown on the diagram. Repeat the experiment 10 times to obtain the results. Plot the graph of the current against the voltage, as shown on the diagram. The graph shows that increasing the voltage one way will lead to a rise in current, after a certain voltage. However increasing the voltage the other way, does not lead to a rise in current. This shows that the diode only allows the current to flow in one way. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.